So we're here at the Freescale booth, and uh, who are you? Hello, I'm Fred Rivard, so I'm uh, the CEO of IS2T. We provide Freescale a platform in MicroAJ. It's uh, like an Android platform, for, but for small uh, Kinetis uh, devices. So you do an app store for Cortex-M devices? Exactly. So people now can design application, download the application on the device, like uh, let's see it. Let's, let's check it out. So this is an app store for Cortex M. So we had the Freescale Boost. So which uh, processors are running here? It's a K70. K70 here. It's a Cortex M. Uh, it's M4. M4. And uh, what is this one? This one is a Cortex M0 Plus. M0 Plus, and you have an app store for it. We have an app store and application running on it. So, uh, are there different apps for M0 Plus and M4? Uh, it can be the same apps if the device allow you to download the code with uh, enough memory. Can we see uh, how, how it looks? So right now, what, what is going on on the M M0 Plus? Uh, it will get a notification when the light of your house is uh, on. Okay. So, um, the Cortex M0 Plus is uh, a smart display, so it receives notification from the Cortex M4, which is here, uh, through a Bluetooth. So the Cortex M4 can control the light here, thanks to this uh, Z-Wave communication, and so I can on and off the LED, and you get, on the, you get the notification that the light... Auto, you can put the uh, so imagine you plug a new device to your, to your home, you just plug a new device, it will download the new application from the store directly for, for, your, for your home control. So how can all these different devices just work? Is this just going to work or there's going to be lots of uh, adaptations no, needed? No, it's just going to work. I mean, the, 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 the application, the Java application is standard, is pure Java and the platform is specific to the hardware. That means IS2T provides the Java platform for both, for, a, for all the Freescale Cortex M devices and the Java application just works on any of it. And this App Store is, uh, is available? Yeah. Since when? So uh, the App Store is available on a uh, uh, web apps um, dot, dot com uh, on the web and uh, so you just have to log in and uh, then to drop your application. Uh, but since when is this available? So it's, currently it's a sunrise period and uh, it will be available in June. In June it will be mass deployment. Exactly. And potentially supporting millions or billions of devices. Billion of applications and a million of devices. Cool. So. So I heard that you were doing something previously with Eclipse and... Yes, uh, so uh, I was working for IBM. I used to design the Java compiler for IBM. So I was one of the main guys that designed Eclipse. Design Eclipse? Eclipse. The very first component, very at the heart of Eclipse, there is a Java compiler. A lot of people are using that, right? Are you using that? Yeah. So how many people use this? Roughly 9 million people. And everybody who makes uh, Android applications? They use Eclipse, they use my code. That's cool. So, um, I asked 2T, uh, when, when did you start the company? We started the company in 2010 with a fundraising. And uh, we already spent, uh, we are now 30 people. And uh, we have partnership with, uh, of course, uh, lots of silicon vendors. Uh, and uh, we currently cover Half, half of the market of macro and uh, controllers and uh, macro processors. So when did the idea come to make an app store for microcontrollers like this? In fact, when you look, uh, when the, uh, ha, 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 it's, uh, it's something that's come from the IT market, in fact, and the smartphone industry. To reduce the cost of, of an application um, on a device, you have to have a platform. So just like uh, the idea came from uh, Android, and we just copy the Android, but we reduce the size of, of the platform. Our platform weights only 30K. <coughs> 30 k. 30 kilobytes for the whole for platform. The whole platform. So it means that every device now can have its platform, so it can be put on the market very fast because uh, the cost to put the software is very low. Roughly, you divide by three, 
the time to put the device in the market. But there's many different devices. Some have one feature, the other one has another feature. Is it possible to identify which one does what? This one has like Ethernet ports and uh, maybe a bunch of other stuff that maybe another device does not have. Are you able to uh, differentiate and uh, like say this is supported, this is not supported? Yes, exactly. We have the notion of API. If a device provides you an API, then your application is compatible. Cool. So imagine you, you want to send data, <coughs> whatever the, the channel, if it can be Wi-Fi, the web, Ethernet, Bluetooth, if the API allows you to send bytes, your application will be allowed to send bytes or receive bytes, whatever the channel is. So uh, this is uh, one of the first times you show it? Recent? Uh, yes. And uh, so what is the response? What do people say? Is that we have a very good traction, uh, specifically on the consumer, industrial, and wearable devices. What's and the business smart. model? Is it going to be free, open source? The, um, the WADAP marketplace will be free for a period of time, uh, at least three or four years. And our business model is uh, based on uh, we sell an IP, uh, uh, intellectual property. The small engine is within every device. Nice. So, uh, so uh, how does it look? You have some uh, stuff. Uh, it's inside. You control it in there. It's uh, inside. Yeah. Just, and uh, so this is an embedded world with an embedded uh, uh, app store system. Exactly. Right here. And uh, what's next in the future? Massive deployment. Massive deployment, uh, making it work everywhere. That's the next step. That's the next step. And currently, we are signing most of the big guys of the industry. We have at least uh, 10 partners in the embedded area, silicon vendors, hardware makers. So they should just contact you and sign more should sign up after they watch this video. And, and we go with the customers, with them, to the customers. So. We have a, a, a huge, uh, let's say, contact uh, with... How many stuff. apps do you think there will be? Is it easy to make an app for it? Yes, just like uh, you do an app for Android now. Is it easier than Android or the same? The same. All right, so this is it. So looking forward to the App Store for the Cortex and for MZR Plus.